Okay, guys. Um, I was pretty happy with the uh, first set of games, uh, not knowing what we were getting ourselves into. I think uh, I've come up with some things that we just need to start focusing on. Um, but all in all, um, I'd say our guys played well, and uh, you know we just got to keep keep hammering some of the, some of the basic ideas. I think we just need to to continue to work on. Um, if you all have any other suggestions, just tell me in practice. Things you noticed, uh, obviously, wasn't at the white game. Sounds like you guys played pretty well. <clears throat> but let me know if these these general concepts don't don't apply to you guys, because I think they just pretty much, in general, stuff we need to work on. So first thing, um, team defense. Um, still, uh, we got to keep working on fire and sort of how we play. I think there's still more of an idea of shut off your guy and you're doing fine. Um, Individual defense and approach, um, individual 1v1 defense and how to approach specifically. Um, I think we need to work on um, man up, which is EMO, which I'll talk about, man down, um, just getting in in a formation. Uh, we hadn't even talked about it, so I think that's something we need to practice. Um, getting open, just when someone has the ball, how do you get open and, and catch the ball and do something with it? Um, and then um, clearing, we still got to work on those clearing ideas. I think we still uh, are running straight up the field, um, which we need to stop doing. And then um, this is a, a bigger concept, but learning how to play behind, uh, learning how to play for max on offense and defend, uh, because we just it, it didn't happen in any of our games. No one actually. Dodge from behind. I think we had one dodge in the first game from behind. Um, but everything's above the cage, and we've got to start using the area behind the cage as well. Um, and that's play from X, which I don't know when we're going to start doing that. We've got a lot of things in front of that, but how to play from X. So those are some of the main ideas I thought about um, that we're going to have to to start really focusing on. So first one, um, team defense and the fire drill. Actually, let's talk about individual defense. Um, we need to start thinking about splitting up the field like this. Okay. If there is a player with the ball over here, we do not want them crossing the face of our offense, or the face of our defense, right? So we want to push everything this way. If there's a player over here, we want to push everything this way. And if there's a player behind the cage, we want to push them somewhere up here or somewhere like sort of over here in this this area. It would be nice to sort of do this, but it's actually more of like a like a this from behind the cage, push them up the field. The way I like to think about it is you play defense to push guys to corners. So if you're playing defense on a guy that's up here, let's say there's an offensive player and you're playing defense, you want to push him to a corner on your side. So the defender is going to push him into that corner. So whatever he does, he's trying to direct him into that corner. He does not want him to go across his face. That's really bad, and it happened a couple times. So same thing if there's a guy up here, offensive player with the ball, our defender wants to push him into this corner, right? So think about just riding him into a corner. Same thing from behind the cage. So if there's an attackman with the ball and we're playing defense, our goal is to ride them into this corner. We don't care if they cross the back of the cage because that's not really a danger area, so that's fine. But once they get above goal line extended, we want this defenseman turning his hips and riding him up the field, right? So he can't cross our face. We don't, any, want, ever, and don't want anyone to ever cross our face. If the attackman goes this way, the defenseman is with him. Once they get above, above GLE, we are closing our hips and pushing this guy to this corner, right? So think about pushing guys to corners. That's how we want to coach, all right? So that's one of the main things. We're going to do a drill with this, which is um, coach with a ball, defender, offensive player, coach throws it here, and we run from the crease out to play defense. And what we want to do is we want to focus on when this guy runs, turn his hips, and make sure that he's going to push this guy over here. So we don't want him to go over here. This is really bad. That's a bad, 
allowing him to go middle of the field is bad. We always want to push guys down the field into those corners, okay? So the talking point here is ass to the sideline. You don't have to say that word, but ass to the sideline. And it's ass to the opposite sideline. So our butt is facing that way. We're looking this way. We push them down and we ride them down. And if they take a shot, we just get in their hands and push them a little bit more, okay? So this is going to be our 1v1 drill um, that we're going to do. Uh, and it's going to be 1v1, guy starts in the crease, run out. So all of your players are here, right? Have one guy run in, throw it to that guy, have him come out and play defense and just keep repping it. That's going to be one of our um, three stations. This is going to be station one. Station two is going to be the clear. I'll just, you know, that's going to be the second station. That's going to be clear. We've got to get guys going low, all right? That's really, was really obvious in our game. We had guys just running up the field, and that's not good because in a bunch of times we just tried to chuck it to them, right? No one at this age is going to, I mean, they don't cover guys in, in high school low. So we always want, so if hypothetically, just so you know what it sort of looks like, the way you would clear would look something like this. So defenseman, 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 midi, midi, midi. You would want D guys going low. You would want this defenseman turning around, sort of this midi turning around, possibly if we can get a quick one. If the ball goes to the right, then this midi is low, is this midi's here, this midi's here, and we've got our alleys. Right? But we've got to have the two guys going low as outlets. They have to be there. So the drill that we keep on doing is just that clear drill. We're just going to keep doing the clear drill. Um, so let's make sure we really get those guys going. They have to get below GLE because everyone's going to be here. Right? We've got to get it low, and then we've got to get it up. And we did a lot of running on Saturday. That's something else I noticed. We had guys open, and the ball's here, and we're not throwing it. We're running it. And then this guy has to run over, right? We need to throw the ball. Teach them to throw the ball. Really, even if the guy can't catch it, just throw the ball. It's, it's what they have to do. Um, EMO, here's my thoughts on EMO. It's going to be basic. Put your three best guys right here. So offense, offense, offense. And then put a pretty good player here. Offense, offense, offense. We're going to run a 3-3. Three, three. The guy you can probably hide is going to be right there. What I saw most of the time looked like this. We want to get this guy the ball. He's going to draw one of these two guys to him, and it's really throw the ball and shoot. It's going to be one pass. It's all we can do. So it's really an offensive umbrella with your three best, right, Look at one guy. If we like this righty over here, maybe have this guy sort of cheat this way, have this guy come, get in this little area, throw it, and shoot. If this guy does happen to come up, throw it down, but I don't even think he'll come up. I think you could step in for about an eight-yard shot, and that's about the best we can hope for. Um, so that's EMO. We're going to run a 3-3. Just know that's probably the best setup for our teams making your three best, one, two, and three, your ball handlers. They don't want to go below half field. When they get below half field, they are halfway through the cage, which is about 10 yards, they should be looking to shoot. Because if we get an open shot at 10 yards, we're going to take it. Um, man, we're going to do the same thing, except have one little, so D, D, D. Put your middies here. If you have a smart defenseman, we're going to put him on, if there's a guy on the crease, put him above. So if there's an attackman, put him above so he looks like he's being covered. And then if some team tries to do the same thing to us, we string from the middle, keeping everyone here, right? And we're just going to pack it in, try not to rotate, um, and see if we can't hold a team to an outside 12-yard shot. Um, and that's going to be our man down. Um, what else? Uh, getting open in space. Um, another drill that we're going to do, this is actually the, the station drill number three. Um, we're going to have a coach. We're going to have um, all the players over here just in a line. First one out is going to be on defense. Second one's going to be on offense. So they're just going to walk out. Um, this guy's got to work to get open, catch, play defense. 
Rules are still the same. Offensive guy tries to beat him to the middle or down the alley, use one of his moves, try and get a shot off. Defensive guy does not want him to cross the middle of the field. We want to make sure if we give anything up, it's an alley dodge, which in that with an alley shot. Okay, so that's going to be our getting open drill. If there's enough players, just split the field in half and do half over here. So coach, and then this guy's playing defense, this guy's playing offense, and then go when he catches it. Um, and you can just stagger it. Um, we're going to probably go groups of three. So that's three stations, probably about 16 per. So you probably can go two, two sets. Maybe I'll do one more. I'll think about it. I think I uh, we'll see what I'll do. So that's station number three. Learning to play from high is going to be something we're going to introduce in and out of the year. We've got to get the ball behind cage. We had one dodge um, to the left, and it was a good dodge. Uh, we got to get something in there. And then picks. Oh, yeah, picks. We didn't do a great job of picking. Um, we had one pick in the first game, set a guy free, shot and goal. I don't know how many picks we sent with the white team. Um, and then we set no picks in the red team scrimmage or the red team game. So um, that'll be station four. Station four will be picks again. If you want to introduce the pick and then the roll, that might keep their interest, right? So same idea. I'll do it on this sheet. So same idea here. So set a pick come off the pick, and then this guy's going to roll in, and it's a little throw and a shot. It's a little dump off and a shot, so it's the pick and roll. So now we're going to do the roll part, so why don't we do that with our, with our pick coaches, um, and we can do it on both sides. So the pick and roll. Um, the roll guy can always be strong hand. It doesn't matter here if you roll to your right hand. You still roll facing the ball, just like in basketball, but you roll opening up with your right hand to the outside, and you can make that catch. It's a, it's a fine catch. It would be better if it's lefty. This is usually the left side of the field, and this is the right side of the field. So these guys should be righty. These guys should be lefty. But the roll guy can always use a strong hand. Roll guy can use strong hand. Um, it's okay. So it's totally fine to use the strong hand. Um, we are going to do uh, 3v2 continuous today. We're going to do our 5v5 drill, which we just need to start repping out. Kids will get better at it. Make it live from the start. So when you have, when you have your team ready to go, um, when you throw the ball to the wing, make it just totally live. So So what do I mean by that? Make this totally live. So you have offense, defense, offense, defense, offense, defense, offense, defense, offense, defense. Just throw it to this guy and make it live. We've got to figure it out. Um, don't make the – if the pass is there, great. We need to coach our kids to get in on defense. Um, we're stuck to our guys too much, right? This is bad. Um, and then we just need to play. So just play 5v5. We'll start figuring it out. Just remember the concepts. But throw the ball. If this guy's playing way out and this guy's playing way out, let him go to cage, right, because we've got to start um, playing more team defense. Uh, so just make it totally live from the start. If the guy is open, I would like to throw it down um, because he's obviously going to be the fresh one. We need to start adding this in. But right now our horses are in the midfield, so – Whatever. If they don't get open, they don't get open. Um, but that's that's what we want to try and do. And if we get against better teams, and I, I can't gauge the teams we played, but um, we'll figure it out. Um, and then the one drill I'm going to introduce today is 4v3. So the 4v3 drill that we're going to do uh, is from the wings. And we're going to do it with two groups because it's a very quick drill. And it's a, it's a, a half-field drill, um, and I like it because it's just it changes. Um, so what do I mean by that? Offensive group, defensive line, offensive group, defensive line. And we'll switch, so we'll go half, um, half and half. So your coach has all the balls. We're going to throw the ball in. Four guys come, all white guys, all the offensive guys come. And then we go um, two from this line and one from this line. 
right? So you have a 4v3. Play it out, ball on the ground, something happens, reset the drill. When you reset it, you're going to throw to someone else. It, do, it doesn't have to be. So you can throw it to any one of these four guys. I would start just by throwing it back and forth to those two top guys. But what changes is the number of guys, defensive guys that come out and from what side. So this time, right, we run it again. So this time will be the second rep. So blue comes in, right, all the offensive guys come in. And this time we're going to send two defensemen from this side and one from this side. So it's different. I think we can hopefully try and pull this off. Um, actually, maybe we'll just start with a basic 4v3. So we're just going to start D, D, and D. Run in, run in, run in. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. Okay. That's it. Um, remind me if you got anything that you really want to work on. Uh, we're going to have some individual team time at the end. I want to do a couple minutes of scrimmaging, but not much. Um, during team time, you're going to work on your 5v5 as well as your EMO and, and man down. Just put them in positions, um, and then we'll, we'll go from there. All right, guys, see you at practice.